If you're looking for a low carb version of this baked feta pasta, try this recipe using spaghetti squash. Just bake the spaghetti squash along with the feta and tomatoes at 400 for 35 minutes. Mix the feta and tomatoes together, then add the spaghetti squash strands right on top. Give everything a good mix, top with some basil, and then you can even serve it in the spaghetti squash itself. Mm, so good. Hey guys, today I'm making the viral baked feta pasta. Everyone's been making it. It looks so good, so I had to try it. I started off with some cherry tomatoes. I added six garlic cloves. You can use less if you like less garlic. I'm adding plenty of olive oil to thoroughly saturate all the tomatoes. A sprinkle of salt, and I'm using two smaller blocks of feta. You can get one bigger block. I just couldn't find any. I also added some red pepper flakes and black pepper. Bake in the oven at 400 for 30 minutes. Cook your pasta. I told you guys I love garlic, so I'm adding more and some basil. I'm adding my pasta in and we're going to mix this all up. It looks so good. Let's try it. Mm. That's good. Let's make the viral baked feta pasta, but this time, let's make it with strawberries. Add a quart of strawberries to a baking dish, halved and stems removed. Drizzle liberally with olive oil, splash some white balsamic vinegar, then add some kosher salt and some fresh cracked black pepper. Then give them a good mix and arrange them cut side down around the outside of the dish to make room for the feta. Place your block of feta in the center of the strawberries, then drizzle with more extra virgin olive oil and crack some more fresh pepper on top. Then pop in a 400 degree oven for 45 minutes. When it comes out, give it a good stir. You'll notice just like the tomatoes, the strawberries released a lot of their natural juices. Those juices combined with the melted feta really help to make that luscious sauce. Next, add a huge handful of basil, give it another stir, then add your pasta of choice. I had these super cute leaf-shaped pasta made with spinach, so that's what I added. I honestly wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. I thought this could be a disaster. I knew the flavors generally went well together, but still I had no idea. But let me tell you, I served this to several people. Everybody loved it. Enjoy, guys. Today I'm making the viral feta cheese and tomato pasta that is so popular, feta cheese sold out in Finland. All you have to do is add tomatoes, olive oil, garlic, salt and pepper to a baking dish with some feta cheese, add some olive oil on top with some oregano, and then some lemon zest, and we're going to bake at 400. Now you're going to add fresh basil on top, mix it all together, and add in your favorite type of pasta. Seriously, look how good this looks. For the full recipe, check out my Instagram, website, and YouTube. All links in my bio. Enjoy. Because of this recipe, the grocery stores in Finland ran out of feta cheese. Here's how to make it. Add tomatoes, olive oil, salt, and pepper to a baking dish. Then add a block of feta cheese right in the middle. Bake at 400 for 35 minutes. When it comes out, add some fresh garlic, fresh basil, and give it all a good mix. Then add some of that cooked pasta right on top and give everything a good mix once again. And then it's time for the taste test. So good. You guys, with my love for feta, I had to jump on the baked feta pasta TikTok bandwagon, and I am so glad I did. I tagged the original creator below. Start with your feta cheese on a baking dish with simmered onion, zucchini, tomatoes, bell pepper, garlic. The original recipe was just tomatoes, so you could try it that way too. Season it, toss it, pop it in the oven, squeeze out the garlic and then mix it all together add it to your cooked pasta i use gluten-free pasta toss in a little pasta water and you guys it's that easy i told y'all this food at home let's make baked feta pasta but with shrimp and a little bit different Since you all love my baked feta pasta, I had to make another variation and this combo is another level. Start with mixed mushrooms, red onion and some garlic along with fresh thyme and a good drizzle of olive oil. For the star of the show, I'm using Persian feta which I find less salty topped with oregano. Bake until it's beautiful and golden and mash your garlic. Give it a mix and throw in your spinach, pine nuts, pasta and the secret touch is pasta water. It brings that creaminess all together. Let's make some baked feta pasta. Add cherry tomatoes, olive oil, and salt to a baking dish and toss. Put a block of feta in the middle, top with a little bit more oil and some red pepper flakes. Bake at 400 for 30 minutes, then crank the heat to 450 for 10 more. Now add garlic, and some fresh chopped basil, and give it a stir. 
Add whatever pasta your heart desires and give it another stir. Add the pasta to serving bowls and enjoy. You can find this viral baked feta pasta recipe on my blog, grillcheesesocial.com. Here's a version of baked feta pasta without tomatoes. I used peppers, onions, and olives, and then I added a block of feta right in the middle. When it came out, I added parsley, pasta, pasta water, and gave everything a good mix. The sauce comes out so creamy from the feta and the pasta water. Mmm, so good.